than other states where they've been seeing spikes in recent days. We have new data today on COVID-19 trends across Indiana. Researchers at the Regan Street Institute want to identify early on where some of those concerning trends might begin. Fox 59's Kelly Rinke shows us why one analyst is pretty encouraged by our state's numbers right now. One week ago, Indiana made it possible for anyone who lives or works in the state to get a COVID-19 test. It came just before all counties moved on to stage four of reopening. Researchers are continuing to look at the trends to see how the state is managing the pandemic. I'm encouraged, but we also need to remain vigilant. Sean Granis is the vice president of data and analytics at the Regan Street Institute. A new section on their dashboard shows COVID-19 trends in the state. It's divided into different colors to make it easy to understand. Most of the state is highlighted in green for positive test results, which indicates a decreasing trend. I think the data should provide information to people who need to take decisions, whether it is at the level of state leadership, local public health leadership, or individuals who are trying to make personal risk assessments. Statewide trends for emergency room visits, hospital admissions, and deaths are also in green. It's not intended to be a predictor of future outcomes. It's intended to indicate that there is a change in the current trend. The tool also shows possible areas of concern. As of this afternoon, four Four counties are seeing an uptick in positive test results, and 10 counties are showing early warning signs of increased COVID-19 activity. Those areas where I personally want to continue watching more closely. One doctor in Marion County remains cautiously optimistic. The Regan Street Institute is finding emergency room visits, ICU admissions, and deaths are trending down here. There's uh, been a, a very gradual and but steady and consistent decline that I think is uh, surprising, to be honest with you. I would have expected a second peak with the reopening uh, procedures that we've been doing by now. Dr. Cole Beeler with IU Health in Indianapolis says it's admitting more people to the hospital, but that's mostly because elective procedures are happening again. We want to make sure that we're continuing to practice those measures that we know work against the virus. In Indianapolis, I'm Kelly Rinke, Fox 59 News.